We'll start pretty soon. I'm just gonna get stuff set up while we're waiting for people to join. Hello. So for this one today, all you need is a ball and three markers. So I'm using three coin, three cones. You can use post-it notes, whatever you want. You can also do this without any markers on the ground. You can just imagine something's there. If the volume's good, just let me know in the comments if you need me to talk louder. So I just have three cones set up like this right now, just in a row. If you want to do that to get ready, just less than one foot apart, three cones in a line. We're gonna be working on balance today. So a lot of single leg stuff. Hi, Owen. We're working on a lot of single leg stuff, a lot of stuff jumping from place to place. We'll start without the ball and then we'll get the ball going later. So to begin with, if you're not super warmed up from jumping, we're just gonna do some single leg stuff to get us ready for that. Other than that, we'll end with a yoga cool down but we'll do some footwork in the middle. We'll start with a lot of single leg movement and stuff with cones, and then we'll do about 10 minutes of yoga at the end, if you can make it till then. So I'm outside doing this. You don't have to be outside to do it. I would just recommend if you can to go outside. It's beautiful out today. Super sunny where I am. So we're gonna start with the ball for now. So get your ball. We're just gonna juggle for a minute to warm up. So any kind of juggling, just go for the first minute to get your feet warm. Good. We're just going to juggle to get our feet moving to begin with. seconds of just juggling. All right. Now that we've got a little ball warm up, we're going to start with some balance stuff. Hey, everyone that's on. So Soccer as a game is pretty much completely played on one leg. When you shoot, you're on one leg. So you're shooting, you're just planting one leg. If you pass, you're planting one leg. Your footwork is mostly on a single leg. So today we're gonna do a lot of balance stuff that'll help you keep your core straight, keep your body straight. That'll help you if someone bumps into you in a game, you won't fall over because you'll have a good balance. It'll help you be able to fix tiny mistakes. So. It could fix the difference between scoring or hitting a crossbar. Fix the difference between crossing the ball to your teammate and crossing to the other team. So we're going to start without the ball. So for now, we're going to warm up. Just single leg, stand on one leg, have your other leg out like this. Roll your ankle in a circle 10 times. Once you've done that, switch. Stay on the same leg, 10 times the other way. All right, now switch your leg. Same thing, ankle rolls. My dog's gonna be wandering around in the background a lot. All right, 10 each way, so switch the circle you're making. All right, now we're gonna move to single leg swings. So you're gonna swing your leg forward, staying on one leg. So forward and back. 
Do this 20 times each leg. All right, once you hit 20, switch to your other leg. All right, now we're gonna do those same thing, but to the side. So watch me first, really slow to begin with. Try not to touch this leg to the ground. 20 times each leg. All right. Once you're done with one leg, switch to the other. All right, take a second, shake your legs out a little bit. Now we're gonna do standing fire hydrants. So you're gonna go on one leg. I'm gonna start on my left leg first. I'm gonna put my right leg back, then I'm gonna bend my knee and it's gonna come out like this. So 20 of these. You can lean a little bit forward and put your arms forward if it helps with your balance. All right, now I'm switching to the other leg. Same thing, little bend in this knee. Put your leg back, out to the side. 20 on each leg. All right, shake your legs out a little bit. Whew. Hopefully by the end of this, your legs are gonna be super sore. So now your three markers, we're gonna be doing a T pose. So your three markers are in front of you. You're the bottom of a capital T. You're trying to stay balanced on one leg and touch each one. So touch one, come back up, touch the middle one, come back up. Touch the far one and come back up. So do this on one leg three times. So go through completely three times. So I'm gonna go through again, start on one side, come back up, go back to the middle, back up, might lose my balance, and then to the outside. Whew. Okay, if you feel like you're losing your balance on this. Just try to keep your foot planted. Try not to hop back and forth as you keep your balance. Let your body right itself. So last one for me. All right, shake your leg out. I'm switching to my other leg now. This one, not as much balance. One. All right, last one. Okay, now you just need one of your cones. We're gonna be doing square hops. So imagine you're Marker cone is the middle of your square. You're gonna do two legged hops. You're gonna go forward to the outside, back, side. So make a square around your marker on the floor. Do this 10 times. So forward, outside, back, out. 
outside. And once you get the hang of it, you can just keep going faster. All right, once you've done 10, we'll switch the other way. So if you were going this direction, now you're gonna be going this direction. So I'm starting on the other side of the marker. I'm going forward to the left, back to the right. 10 more times. Once you're done with that, we're gonna do the last part of our warm up, which is hockey hops. So you're gonna be jumping from one was head. When you jump, you plant, stay for three seconds, and then go back the other. So when you jump forward, if you can go like this, that means your balance is on. So 10 on each leg is the last part of our. So side. Forward and then go the other way. Doesn't matter how slow you go on this, more the better. drink and then you can get the ball. We're going to start doing some work. Thank you, Dad. I will not fall in the pool. If you can hear my dog barking, it's because my mom has tennis balls in the pool and wants me to get them for her. Thank you. 
shake your legs out. We're gonna do that one more time, each leg. All right, back to right foot on top, left leg hopping. So it's gonna go around with your right, hop with your left. But this time, go the opposite way you were going before. So before I was going to the outside in a circle, now I'm gonna be going in inside in a circle. All right, whenever you're ready, 10 on this leg. Go. I'm starting to feel it in my calves pretty bad. All right, now I'm gonna switch. Left leg's on top, right topping. So now I'm gonna be going around like this. If you're already doing that, go around the opposite way in the cone. So 10 times whenever you're ready. One for me. All right, we're gonna cool down a little bit in between, just juggling. Right now, I'm gonna be doing two touch on each leg, but you can juggle however you want. So I'm gonna juggle two on my right and then two on my left. Do whatever you're comfortable with. It's just a cool down. seconds of this and we'll start with some more dribbling. All right, quick drink if you need it, then we'll do a couple more dribbling exercises. Bring your ball back to your cone. We're gonna do some triangles now. So the cone will be the middle of your triangle. You're gonna start with your right leg. We're gonna pull it back, push the outside, left goes diagonal. So I'll do it really slow. Pull back with your right, inside your left, across with your left. Back with right, out, back. So try your best not to hit the cone that you're using. So pull back outside, left forward, pull back again. It looks like this when you start going faster. Come back. So now that you got the hang of it, we're gonna do this one 15 times each leg. So I'm gonna go back. That's one, 15 times, go for it. Oh. 
Can my soft just get a cone? Start back right again. All right, now we're gonna go through with our left. So finish up with your right, do your cone set again. Now it's pull back with left, across with left, diagonal with right. So back with left, across with left, diagonal right. 15 of these, start slow. Once you can go faster, you can start your count. So I'm gonna start my count now. One, two, three. All right, we do that one more time each leg. So now looking at it, if you're not messing up at least once, I want you to try and push yourself harder. So if you're not moving a cone, losing your ball, try to go faster. That means that you're able to do it quicker if you can do it without messing up at your pace. So try to go as fast as you can with these while still keeping it in your control. So back with your right foot, pull back outside, 15 more triangles. All right, finish up on your right, then we'll switch to the left. 15 with your left. Try to push yourself this round. Pass off, get right back to it, find your rhythm again. Good, finish them out. And done. We've got one more footwork exercise and then we'll move to some balance poses. So last one, you just need one cone still. I'll set it back to your seat a little better. You're gonna pull back, push across, staying behind your cone. So I'm pulling back and pushing across. Then I pull back with my left and go back to my right. So when you push it forward, the ball will be in line with the cone. When you pull it back, you'll pull it back a little behind. So watch me go through it slow first. We're gonna do this one for a minute straight. So do it standing, get your rhythm. Once you've got it figured out, you can add a hop to it and start going a little faster. All right, minute's gonna start right now. One minute of this, fast as you can. yourself. Good. Last 10 seconds. Fast as you can.
Now we're gonna go into our yoga cool down. So it's gonna start with the warrior three pose. So I'm gonna do it sideways so you can see a little better. Start, breathe in, straighten up, arms above your head. Then you're gonna move your left leg back and move your body forward. And we're gonna hold right here. So look forward, suck in your core. We're gonna hold here for a couple more seconds. Now slowly keeping your leg up, bring it forward and hug your knee. Now we're gonna keep our knee here, and raise our arms. All right, arms back down. Bring your knee out, stretch as far out as you can, and then bring your arms back up. Woo. If you lose balance, that's okay. Just restart. So restart here, pull your knee to the side, then raise your arms. We'll hold here for a couple seconds. Now bring your knee back in, hold it to your chest, back to warrior three. Then we're gonna come down, keep your left leg up and stretch. Now bring both your legs down to downward dog. Push your heels toward the ground. We've been using our ankles a lot for this. Time to stretch out your calves and your ankles a little bit. So pedal them out. When you're ready, step forward. We're gonna do the same thing, but our right leg is gonna come up. So have your left leg on the ground planted, arms come forward, right leg goes back. But we're gonna stay here for a couple more seconds. And bring one knee to your chest, right leg comes up. Now raise your arms, keep your knee up. Hold here. Arms come down. Open your knee up. Bring your arms back up slow. Good, knee comes in. Hug your chest one more time. Back to warrior three, come down. Down to downward dog. Pedal out your legs again. Now staying here, you're gonna bring one knee forward. So right knee first, have it touch your left elbow. Then come back. Left knee to right elbow. And then go back and forth five times each. to downward dog when you're ready. Stay here, stretch your calves out a little bit more. Now your right leg goes up behind you. Then it's gonna come forward, look forward, and then open up, stretch out your right leg. Now back forward, come back down, right leg goes back, same thing with your left leg, raise it up, bring it through, come up, then 
Open up your hips, stretch your left leg. Back down, back to downward dog. Last time we're gonna be in this. Pedal out your legs one more time. Then walk your legs up to your hands. Come up. We're gonna do one more balance pose and then we're done. So bring, I'm gonna start with my right leg. We're gonna do tree pose. So you can have your leg up here or up here. Try not to have your leg pushing on your knee. That'll hurt your knee. So keep your leg either at your calf or your thigh. Once you find your balance, raise your arms. If you gotta come back down, that's fine. Find your balance. We're gonna stay here for 30 seconds, then switch. All right, slowly bring your leg back down. Then last thing, find your balance. Raise your arms, make it a little harder if you want. Good, 10 more seconds here. And bring it down. Great job, everybody. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot more stretching and balance than I'm usually doing, so my legs are pretty sore. What I'm gonna do after this is go on a quick run. So if you wanna get your legs feeling less wobbly, go for a quick run, just a jog. I'm gonna take my dogs, take them for a run, make my legs feel a little bit better. If you got through everything, great job. You guys got a lot of touches on the ball and a lot of single leg exercises today. But other than that, I will see you guys soon. I hope you're all having a great quarantine and stay fit. Thank you, BVU.